A cell phone company offers two plans for minutes. Plan A, $15 per month and $2 for every 300 texts. And Plan B, $25 per month and 50 cents for every 100 texts. The question is, how many texts would you need to spend, send per month? Spend, send? Sure. For Plan B to save you money. All right. So the first thing I like to do here is anytime I ask a question similar to this where I'm like comparing two plans or... Two, two options of sorts, I basically have to create, and the only way to answer this is to kind of create a math equation, all right, to each plan. So let's call plan A here. We'll put it in black, okay? Plan, plan A. All right. In plan A, it tells us that, the, and why don't we create an equation? So the total cost, okay, total cost of plan A will equal now, and you might say, well, how did you know to write that in? Well, I have to create an equation. This in and of itself doesn't really tell me anything as far as like an equation, right? Nothing's being equal to it. So I have to kind of think about, I have to basically be creative and I have to create a, a variable, so to speak, all right, that I know uh, will equal whatever they're trying to say to me here. So I'm just calling that total cost, right? The total cost of plan A will be equal to $15 multiplied by, whoa, I don't know if you heard that, but uh, it's thundering over here. Um, Sounds like the bomb just went off over my house. Anyway, um, so, yeah, let's just start plugging stuff in before, I don't know, before I lose power. So so total cost will be equal to uh, $15 per month, right, the $15 per month. Multiply then, don't forget, by the number of months, because isn't it dependent upon the number of months that you have your phone for? Sure, right? Okay. And then... Add to that, the total cost also now is $2 for every 300 texts. Now, here's the thing. Anytime they do something like this to you, $2 for every 300 texts or, you know, 28 cents for every 97.2 texts, what you got to do is you got to break this down into a value per text. The reason being is because the question is saying how many texts. So I need to find variables here per text. This doesn't do it for me. This says $2 per 300 texts, but I need to per two, excuse me, per text. I need to convert that now. So if you know that $2 is equivalent to then 300 texts, my question will be, how much money is then equivalent to one text? Or how much does one text cost? And that, by the way, is a dollar sign, but uh, yeah. So how much would it cost? This is kind of easy, right? Basically just take two and divide it by the 300. That would be the cost per text. So take 2 divided by 300, and what do we get? We get about, and I'm not going to use a fraction, I'm going to use a decimal, but 0.0000, oops, 0.006 cents. Okay, and that's repeating. Point, so 0.0066666. Okay? So now what I realize for plan A then, I then will have 0 0.006, right? That's the cost per text multiplied by then the number of texts. And notice now how I have a variable in here uh, that exactly correlates with the question, how many texts, okay? That's going to be helpful later on. Let's run through now uh, plan B. I'm going to put plan B in uh, blue. All right, we're going to do the same thing. So plan, plan B, okay? Again, total cost, because it's a very similar calculation. So total cost will equal then uh, the $25 per month, 25 times then the number of months, months, not really sure where that dot came from, uh, plus then now it's going to be 50 cents for every 100 text, but again, I want it per text, so what do we do? We're going to do this. If it costs 50 cents for every 100 text, how much does it cost then per text, per single text? Again, just take the 50 cents and divide it then by the 100, so that would work out to be 0.005 now. Okay, so about a half a cent. So this would be 0.005 times then the number of texts. Okay, great. Now we got two equations. Okay, equation one here, equation two over here. Now, they're asking us how many texts would you need to send per month, okay, for plan B to save you money? 
So first of all, it might be easier, instead of thinking about more or less, let's just find where plan A would equal plan B. The total cost of plan A would equal the total cost of plan B, and then we'll think about how to solve for the answer, okay? Sometimes it's easier to solve for something like that first. Basically, we're, find, we're trying to find out the point of indifference between plan A and plan B. So, I'm basically saying, when is the total cost of plan B equal to, okay, equal to the total cost of plan A? So basically, I'm going to set these two equal to one another. The total cost of plan A will equal the total cost of plan B. And if that's the case, then this represents the total cost of plan A, and this represents the total cost of plan B. So what I'm basically going to do now is just set those two equal to one another, okay? So watch. And what I'm going to do is try to simplify this a little bit. I'm, I'm going to try and not use the dollar sign, so this is just 25 times then the number of months, I'm just going to say is M, to make our life a little easier. Plus then 0 0.005 times the number of text, let's just call that T, okay? And that will now equal the $15. Number of months, again, just call it M. Plus then 0 0.006 times then T. Okay? All right, so now we got our equation. Let's just clean this up a little bit. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful uh, start to your year or beginning of your semester. Or hopefully uh, you might be partially the way through. So hopefully, hopefully this year is treating you well. All right, so now what I need to do is I'm basically going to combine some like terms. All right, I know that I got some M's here, some T's, they're different variables. Well, why don't we start combining stuff? So let's subtract the 15M on over to the left. Why did I do it that way? I don't know. I kind of want to end up with a positive M, you know, positive coefficient there. So 25 minus the 15 then would have been 10M. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite here. I'm going to bring this on over, so minus 0.005t on over to the right-hand side. Now notice when I do that, it's also going to work out to be positive. So it just, it just makes it a little easier. So this is going to be basically 0.001 times t. Now, notice here they say how many texts, how many texts would you need to send per month? They're basically asking you to solve for how many texts t would you need to send per division, right? Per means division, per month. So I need to solve this equation now for t over m. It's very, very easy. Watch this. Pretend I said this. a times m is equal to b times t. You can do this all the time, every time. Anytime you have a setup like this, all you simply need to do is move variables, and you're allowed to move variables diagonally across the equal sign. Okay? You can't just move it over to there like that, but you can move it diagonally. You can take this, move it diagonally if you want. You can take this and move it diagonally, etc., etc. Okay, lights are starting to flicker, so let's, uh, let's try to get through this. So I'm going to bring the M down. I want to get the B away, so I bring it over to that side, and look, bada bing, bada boom. There it is. And here's now, oh, here's now my fraction. Okay? So look, I solved it for t over m. You see that? So let's do the same thing over here. Ready? I'm going to bring this on down. Oh, not with the zero. Sorry. I'm rushing now. <laughs> see if I can get this uh, done before the power goes out. All right. Oh, if the video just stops, you'll understand why. So now I find t over m. So this is equal to now. We can do the division, right? Take out your calculator. 10 divided by then 0 0.001. And what do you get? Well, that works out to be 10,000. Interesting. 10,000. So this is telling us now in words, this says that at 10,000 texts per month, at 10,000 texts per month, uh, plan A, plan A is equal to plan B. Okay, so then it says how many texts would you need to send per month in order for plan B to save you money, right? So now what you can do is, I mean, you can basically just take a step back and notice that the cost per text of plan B here in blue was cheaper than the cost per text of plan A, right? And you also, whoa, some thunder. All right. What a great day to study, right? There's nothing to do outside. Just spend hours now studying. So notice the cost per text of the black plan A was greater than the cost of uh, the 
of cost per text, excuse me, of plan B there in blue. So I know the, that the more text I send, basically it would be cheaper uh, to use plan B because it costs less per text. Hopefully that makes sense. So now what I realize is that if I send over 1,000, that means if I send greater than 1,000, so if my text per month is then greater than 10,000, I will be saving money with plan B. Why don't you go back to the original equations and plug in any number you want greater than 10,000, plug in 11,000, 12,000 into the equations we created before, into both the black and the blue, and see the total cost, compare the two. What you'll notice is that the blue one will cost less. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please, has, please help us out and subscribe and tell your friends. Hit the like button. Do whatever you got to do. And uh, yeah, cool. Check out our playlist.